Hello, here is another equation to find the quadratic function for a parabola with given conditions. The given conditions are zeros of 2 and 6 and a minimum value of minus 6. That's a given condition. So let's try to sketch it first and then move on to find the answer, right? So let me do a rough sketch. Let's say this is our axis and then we have quadratic function that is represented by a parabola with zeros at 2 and 6. So these are on this side, correct? And minimum value of minus 6 somewhere here. So let me just sketch a parabola first, correct, like this, and say that the points here, which are my x-intercepts, are this is 2 and this is 6, okay? And then we have this vertex, and I don't know what my line of symmetry or axis of symmetry is, but I know for sure what this point is and this point is minus 6 right so that's my parabola and this is the function f of x which I'm going to find and this is my x-axis with 0 here okay it's not to the scale but it is just to give you an idea of what we have and what we need to find so the question again is determine quadratic function for a parabola with zeros of 2 and 6 and minimum value of minus 6. Now the question is what type of equation should we go for? Whenever we are given the x-intercepts the factored form is probably a good form to use, right? And then another point we need to find the value of a. Well, we can use that. Perfect. Now the other point is not fully given. We know the value but we don't know the x-value. So what we can do now here is to find the axis of symmetry, right? So we say, what is going to be the axis of symmetry? So let me find axis of symmetry, that is this value. It has to be mean value, right? Between the two x intercepts. So we say the x value for this axis of symmetry is 2 plus 6 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 8 divided by 2 as 4. So this is expected to be at 4, right? Therefore, this vertex for us is 4 minus 6. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we can use this point to find the value of a, the leading coefficient. Okay. Let's move on from here and hope to get the right answer. So f of x can be written as a times x minus 0, which is 2 here, and the other one is 6. So it is x minus 6, right? Now, minimum, it opens upwards, it has a minimum, and we just found out the minimum actually is at 4, x equals 2, and the y value is given as minus 6. We'll plug in these values and write down our answer. So f of x is minus 6 here, and a, and x value is 4, so write 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 6, correct? And this is like minus 6 equals to a times 4 minus 2 is 2, and 4 minus 6 is minus 2. That gives us minus 6 is equals to minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4a, right? And therefore, a equals to minus 6 divided by minus 4, and so we can write this as equal to 3 over 2, correct? Yeah, 3 over 2. Now, you know a, and you know all this, and therefore, the answer should be f of x equals to 3 over 2 x minus 2 times x minus 6. Does it make sense? Well, let's check it. Now, first thing is, leading coefficient is positive. The parabola opens upwards. That makes sense, right? It is here opening upwards. x intercept is a 2, yes, given. And x intercept is a 6, given. Perfectly matching, correct? This point which is the vertex should be midway between 2 and 6. If we add 2 and 6, we get 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Oh, sorry, 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the x value is 4. And when we plug in 4, we did already. 4 minus 2, we get minus 6. But that's how we calculate it, right? So I think that's the perfect answer. But it's always good to check and visualize uh, are we on the right track or not. I think this is perfect. And let's move on. Go through other questions to find parabola from given conditions. Okay.